Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This was a set from CAT 2017 DILR slot 1 and it was one of the difficult sets based on Venn diagrams in the recent years. It says that applicants for the doctoral programs of AMBI Institute of Engineering AIE and BIE have to appear for a common entrance test. The test has three sections, physics, chemistry and maths. Among those appearing for CET, those at or above 80th percentile in at least two sections and at or above 90th percentile overall are selected for the advanced entrance test conducted by AIE. AET uses AIE for final selection. So there are two uh, institutes A and B, AIE, BIE. AIE uses this test called AET. Now we are given that like if uh, there is 80th percentile in at least two sections and at or above 90th percentile overall that are the cutoffs. Now here one need not find what is the score for 80th percentile or 90th percentile. We just need to understand that we have two things where it says 80th percentile that means sectional cutoff and whenever it says 90th overall that is the overall cutoff. Now understand this thing that when it says that a person has to clear above the 80th percentile in at least two sections. So one has to have two sectional cutoffs plus overall to qualify for the examination at least two. So it can be two sectional also or three sectional also. Okay, but if one clears in only one section, that person will not clear the uh, examination. For the 200 candidates who are at or above 90th percentile overall based on CEP. So it says that there are 200 candidates who are above the 90th percentile overall. So these people have cleared the overall cutoffs. Okay, now we need to tell that and the conditions that are given to us are no one is below the 80th percentile in all three sections. So that means it means that these are the people. Okay. So let's say PCM. Some people cleared cutoff in physics. Some people cleared cutoff in maths. It says no one is below 80th percentile. So there is no person outside this Venn diagram. So people will clear one cutoff, two cutoffs or all three cutoffs that is given to us. 150 are at or above the 80th percentile in exactly two sections. So that means the sum of these regions is 150. And then we have the number of candidates at or above only uh, above the 80th percentile only in P is equal to only in C is equal to only in M. So these three values are equal. Okay, so that these are some conditions. Let us now draw this Venn diagram and fill in these conditions and then look at the questions. Okay, so this is the Venn diagram. It says no one is below the 80th percentile. So that means no, no value outside this these three circles. 150 are at or above the 80th percentile in exactly two sections. So these three will add to 150. Fine. The number of candidates at or above the 80th percentile only in P that is let us say the numbers are A. So these three values are the same. Okay. Fourth condition says number of candidates below 80th percentile in P ratio number of candidates below 80th percentile in C ratio number of candidates below 80th percentile in M is 4 ratio 2 ratio 1. Okay. Now how do you find below 80th percentile in P? Right. So this includes the number of students who are above 80 percentile in P. They have cleared the sectional cutoff. Now below 80 percentile means that they do not clear cutoff in P. Okay. So we have to find the number of students who did not clear the cutoff in P. So this includes these three values. Okay. Similarly, if we have to find the number of students in below 80th percentile in C, 
so that means these are the people who clear the cutoff and see so these people did not clear the cutoff of c right same goes for m also now let us do one thing we will make some equations and how do we make equations in this cases 4 ratio 2 ratio 1 the least is for m okay because see if we take some variable x we can make 2x and 3x 4x right so that is why we should take variable for the lowest value so number of candidates below 80th percentile in m we will take some variable for it okay so below 80th percentile in m would mean that this portion outside this portion is below 80th percentile in m now these two values are already taken as a so let us say this region is b okay so now let's pay attention to this carefully p c m did not clear cut off m is 2a plus b this is a this is a this is b right now c should be 4a plus 2b two times and this should be 8a plus 4b 4 ratio 2 ratio 1 was given to us right we took this variable b hence got 2a plus b now let's see p and m p uh, p and c p is 8a plus 4b okay so p is this complete region is 8a plus 4b these two values are a and a subtract 2a so we will get 6a plus 4b okay now you see that it is 8a plus 4b similarly let's do for c these are the regions for c total is 4a plus 2b and then we have 2a already a part of this these two parts so when we subtract we get 2a plus 2b so the region missing is 2a plus 2b right now we are done now we have put the variables for this venn diagram this condition is obviously clear okay this is also done the only condition remaining is this that 150 are at or above the 80th percentile in exactly two sections so that means we need to add these three values to 150 so what do we get we have 8a and plus 6 plus 17b that equals to 150 right now how do you find the number of integer solutions for this right so b can b can't be odd if b is odd this will be odd and this this has to be even the total cannot be an even number so we will take the odd values of uh, even values of b this will be even and this will obviously be even so if you take b is equal to 2 we will get 14 okay if we take b is equal to 2 we get 14 here and this is 136 so 2 and 17 is one of the solutions right next when we have a linear equation of this format the coefficients are the changes like b will change by 8 and a will change by 7 so change in a will be 7 a goes down by 7 b goes up by 8 okay so we have b going up by 8 so that means b becomes 10 and a becomes a also becomes 10 now next scenario is a will become 17 b will uh, the a will become 3 and b will become 18 right so these are the three scenarios that we will get okay so these give us the total as 150 so we have three solutions still here so this part has been done like now the remaining four values should add to 50 because there are 200 students and no one is outside this Venn diagram. So 3a and this value remaining will make it 50 remaining. Now if you take a as uh, a as uh, 17, so what will happen is 
this will become 51 17 17 17 will make it 51 now it is exceeding 200 150 is the sum of these regions and apart from that if you add 51 it crosses 200 so this case is not possible hence we will get two cases in one case a will be 10 and another case a will be 3 so let us put the values and solve for the expression so if we take a is equal to 10 so we will have 10 10 10 okay then this value will be 180 and the remaining is 20 okay in that scenario b is 10 so this value is 10 this is 40 and this value is 100 so that is one of the solutions now next solution is if we take a is equal to 3 okay so if we take a is equal to 3 all these three values will be 3 the values are 3 and uh, this value that central value will be 150 plus 9 159 this value turns out to be 41 and in this case b is equal to 18 so b is 18 and then we have 2 a plus 2 times of a plus b that will be 42 6 a plus 4 b that is 18 and uh, b is 18 so uh, a, a is 3 that is 18 and b is 18 so 72 plus uh, 72 plus 18 will be 90 because 4b is 72 and 6a is 18 so total is 90 so these are the solutions to this diagram now let's look at the questions Here is the first question which said that what best can be concluded about the number of candidates sitting for a separate test for BIE. Now we filled this information let us read the information about BIE. It says that BIE uses a different process for selection. If any candidate is appearing in the AET by AIT, BIE considers their AET scores for final selection provided the candidate is at or above the 80th percentile in P. Okay, so if a person has cleared the cutoff in P, they will be considered for BIE. Any other candidate at or above 80th percentile in P in CET, but who is not eligible for AET, is required to appear in a separate test to be conducted by BIE for being considered for final selection. Altogether, there are 400 candidates this year who are at or above 80th percentile in P. Okay, now it says that. If a person clears cutoff in P and not eligible for AIE, what was the eligibility criteria for AIE? That you should have two or three sectional, at least two sectionals cleared and the overall cleared. Okay. So in if you look at this graph, these are the people who have cleared two cutoffs or three cutoffs. Okay. So these are eligible for AIE. Right. Now, who is considered for BIE? If a person has cleared physics cutoff but not more than one cutoff. So either 3 or 10 people will appear on appear for BIE. Next set of questions. So this is 3 or 10. If the number of candidates who are at or above the 90th percentile overall and also at or above the 80th percentile in all three sections in CET is actually a multiple of 5. So that means we are dealing with this case what is the number of candidates who are at or above the 90th percentile overall and at or above the 80th percentile in both p and m in cet okay so we need to find the people who are in above uh, 80th percentile in both p and m in cet right so if you look at this region both p and m these are the people 40 plus 20 so the answer is 60 
okay see it is not saying about anything about c so when we say both p and m that means the overlapping region of these two venn diagrams next question the number of candidates same condition given here actually a multiple of 5 so again we will take this right uh, it says that how many candidates were shortlisted for the ait for ae so we need to find how many candidates shortlisted for this ait okay so how do we find this number so it says that at least two should be cleared or three should be cleared so we will count all these four values so 60 160 plus 10 117 students last question if the number of candidates who are at or above the 90th percentile overall and also are at or above the 80th percentile in p in cet is more than 100 so if you look at this value in this scenario it is less than 100 so for the fourth question this case is valid okay so second and third question this case fourth question is based on this case so it says that uh, how many candidates had to sit for the separate test for bie okay so some candidates have to sit for the separate test for bie we need to find those people right now let us understand this question how do we get this thing that how people how many people have to sit for separate test for bie okay now we will have to go back to the original condition which the last sentence which says that there are 400 candidates who are at or above the 80th percentile in p okay now if you notice this value this is 60 plus uh, 60 plus 44 104 so this shows only 104 candidates okay 104 candidates it is saying that 400 uh, candidates are above this cutoff right so these are the 400 candidates out of this 104 are given to us so there are 296 more candidates who have cleared the physics cutoff okay there are 296 candidates who have cleared the physics cutoff because this 200 basically have cleared the overall cutoff so there are 296 more candidates who didn't clear overall cutoff but physics cutoff is clear these represent didn't clear the overall cutoff okay so it does not mean that these are the only physics candidates we are given 400 candidates appeared on the examination so 104 cleared these people have cleared over cutoff so 296 who did not clear the overall cutoff so we will count these 296 people plus these three people have to again write the examination right we said that if people do not clear the cutoff in uh, more than uh, one section and if they clear cutoff in physics they are eligible so we have a total of 299 candidates who will sit for the separate test for bi so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions